I wanted to reduce my pile of cabbage, so I decided to make some beds that I can wear both with my modern clothes and my late Victorian early Edwardian inspired garments. This is the fabric I used as the lining of my 1898 late Victorian walking skirt. I managed to cut two relatively wide strips that were long enough, unfortunately on the bias. When I stitched them together, I realized I needed to add two more strips, but I could only cut two narrower ones and they were somewhat shorter as well, which wasn't a problem, because they were still longer than my waist measurement. I used a running stitch to sew the four strip together. Making the pleats proved to be more complicated than I'd anticipated. If I hadn't used my cabbage, I would have cut the fabric on the straight grain. Pleating such a fabric with the blinding pattern isn't easy. It literally took me hours. I didn't bother about getting the pleats even. I secured the pleats with a running stitch from the wrong side. The stitching lines are about 4 cm apart. I had some drill that I was going to use as interfacing. Ideally, I would have used something less thick. I cut a strip narrower than my main bed fabric. I folded the allowance onto the interfacing and pinned it. And of course, I basted along the edges before I stitched down the allowance. I stopped stitching a few centimeters from the short edges because I hadn't determined the length of the bed yet. I cut the interfacing shorter. I actually kept measuring the bed around my waist and I cut the ends little by little. I folded the allowance. Cut a strip of lining from the cabbage of my 1890s late Victorian blouse. I folded all four edges, I made it a little narrower and shorter than the bed itself. I pasted along all edges. Then I whip stitched the lining. I will never be able to learn how to sew on hooks and eyes properly. I can only do it in an ugly way. I only had three pairs of this size, so they are too far apart resulting in gaping when the belt is worn. For the next belt I needed a pattern. I still had some of the fabric I used for my Scotty hip and basso pad. I made a pattern which I kept trying around my waist and cutting to shape little by little. This is how much I changed the initial pattern, which, by the way, was the alteration of a truly Victorian pattern. I still wasn't satisfied, so I went on altering the pattern. The bottom one is what I eventually used. I used the drill again, I cut the interfacing as two pieces, otherwise a big portion of it would have been on the bias and it would stretch a lot. I quickly stitched the two pieces from both sides. I 
I used a fabric which I interfaced my 1898 walking skirt with. Making this bed actually meant wasting fabric. I tried to position it so that I have some center pattern. I cut it with an allowance, then I basted the two layers together before I basted down the allowance. I think basting here was especially important. The outer fabric needs to be tight around the interfacing. I stitched down the allowance. And lined the belt with the fabric of my 1890s blouse again. Again, I stop stitching a few centimeters from the ends, which then I cut shorter little by little, constantly measuring around my waist. I wanted this bed adjustable, so I let the ends overlap and use stamp fasteners. For the third band, I used the cabbage of my 1898 walking skirt. The right side is grey, the wrong side is brown. I decided to use the latter. I cut it on the cross grain. From here I did everything as before, with the exception of accidentally cutting the lining too narrow, so this time I couldn't hide the allowance of the short edges of the outer fabric under the lining, but folded it onto the lining. I also ran small stitches along the edge of the ends because I used wool and you can't iron wool flat, but you can flatten it and mold it and control it with stitches. I used hooks and eyes. I should have used four of them, but I'm a very lazy person. These bands are not historically accurate because I will mostly wear them with my modern clothes. Also, they should have been burned. And of course, I should have used some more sophisticated fabric. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up. Don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so that you can get a notification when I upload a new video.